is underway and in this one I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet, a la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. I know Dana Brooke very well, and an opponent has to be aware of the barrage of powerful offense that Dana will bum rush them with. Dana Brooke is relentless. Now we have Tristratus on the attack. Avoids trouble there. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Look at Dana Brooke's perfectly sculpted physique. When Brooke uses her power against an opponent, the results are devastating. And Dana wants... Whoa, impressive! You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Trish Stratus is not someone to sleep on. Dana Brooke may be in trouble here. She doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. Oh, man. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Her opponent's finally showing something. Well, she ready oh. here. And the kick out. It's gonna take more than that. Now we have Tristratus on the attack. 
Look at the quickness by Dana Brooke. Trish Stratus is one of the most beloved superstars in the WWE, but her past is filled with betrayal as Stratus sought higher status in WWE. Just ask Chris Jericho. Uh, going to the top, high risk. Dana Brooke is a woman you do not want to mess with. Look out! And she delivers a flawless crossbody. Byron brought up Trish Stratus's past with Chris Jericho and perhaps the biggest betrayal in WrestleMania history. Stratus attacked Jericho when Y2J tried to defend her honor at WrestleMania 20. Did you forget about that disgusting bet Jericho made with Christian? Stratus did nothing wrong that night, and Jericho still owes Christian that Canadian dollar. Back of her head took most of the punishment from that. Trish Stratus making her move. She's locked. Well done. What a comeback by Trish. She is on fire. Oh, this is not good at all. The and a perfectly executed stretch. And she flattens her with a splash. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Oh, the reversal by Trish Stratus. And there's the reversal from Dana Brooke. Just a vicious elbow. Perfectly executed. She goes for the cover. Well, that was a close call. Amazing. Dana Brooke is showing signs that it could be ending soon. She may very well have reached the point of no return. I would never question the chip kick for Chris. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Oh, will it be? One, two, three. There's the pinball <laughs> and the victory. Uh. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one. They should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Ever. Watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Wow. 
I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner, Trick. Big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action he's going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the car unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. What you